brought the whole thing back out to the garage. It's a little bit warm out here, but I don't think it's warm enough to really affect anything. Um, apparently, I don't know how to read HW monitor. I really had never studied the, the charts and stuff that are on there. I just kind of like glanced at the temperatures. If, if everything was like, you know, 30s and 40s and idle and 50s and 60s under load, then I just looked at it and I was done. Obviously the max is the recorded max and the minimum is the recorded minimum. And I just, I never really like looked at it, you know? So on the left, the value is at 38, 36, 39, and 32 for the cores. And when I ran the CPU stress test, that's when I, I kind of clicked that I was reading this all wrong. So anyways, when I ran the um, stress test, I noticed that this value right here was peaked at 100, and the max was peaked at 100, and the minimum was at zero. I realized that you know the max is just recording the max temperature. So if you have HW monitor open while you're playing a game or something, this max will show 60C or whatever it got up to, and the minimum is basically what the computer was at when you opened up HW monitor. So I know it all sounds self-explanatory, but I just never really paid attention to what exactly was going on on this chart here. So basically just the value line is what is really important when you're just monitoring your current temperature. Camera will not focus. I'm getting new, new equipment soon. This is ridiculous. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm just using my phone to do all this. <laughs> Sad times. Let's take another look at the loop. I um, I wound up putting some of that water wetter type of stuff in there. And it's still just running off this little radiator. I haven't seen any leaks so far, which is pretty cool. And right now, in my garage, it's running at 38 degrees, 39 degrees, somewhere around there. I have a thermometer somewhere around here. And inside my garage right now, it's almost 85 degrees. And we're running at 39 still, so that's, that's not too bad. That's not bad at all, actually. Get this little tiny radiator. Now I just have to figure out how to fit all that inside the case and with that double 60 millimeter rad right here that thing is high performance it might be able to do the chip and a low power graphics card like a 750ti that little radiator is doing an awesome job you guys 15 dollars on amazon you know what i'm gonna run the stress test real quick just a quick cpz stress test And bench and stress. Remember, it's actually over eighty five degrees now in my garage, eighty five point four. The monitor says. And 52C. I mean, let's get CPUZ out of the way and show the cores. Boom. Hundred percent usage. Fifty-two, fifty-three. Looks like it's kind of topped out at 53, 54 because it just dropped back down to 53. 
I think I saw it at 54 for a second there. Yeah, that was 54 again. So it looks like it topped out at 53, 54. It's bouncing back and forth. That's not bad. I wonder what it would do under Prime 95. Let's stop this. All right. There you have it. And as soon as I dropped it, I turned it off. The temps start coming back down. Went from 54 degrees down to 41 degrees pretty quick. Oh, and that's what we're talking about right here. We showed a maximum at 54. The minimum on this quote was 31. The minimum on this one was 37 and so forth. <laughs> I'm learning something new every day, folks. Mm -hmm.